depth image is uh, an image, same width and height as a normal photograph, but for every pixel, you know how many centimeters away that object is. And that's really helpful if you're going to try to composite things like with augmented reality, if you're going to have objects hiding behind each other, um, or if you have a robot that's trying to figure out how to navigate through a scene or how to grasp an object. So if you walk around an object, you start to accumulate a whole 3D shape, not just the depth from one side, but actually the volume of the whole object you're, you're filming. Our technology would just use a regular color camera and those images that you already capture can be turned into depth images which tell you how far away every object on the street is. To capture depth using video cameras, normally you would have two of them pointing in the same direction, a little bit like our eyes. Another option would be to have a laser scanner and it's basically using that sort of time of travel to estimate a depth for every point where the laser touched. I think there are a few different applications for the technology. Um, Self-driving cars are an obvious one, um, augmented reality, and uh, maybe even some medical applications. But for specifically the, the self-driving scenario might be where you have cameras on cars, but every one of those cameras could be a depth sensor. Our system can see that an object is small, it can estimate how far away it is, and then the car might be able to react to that, anticipate the motion of other vehicles, know when to merge, when to, to, to veer or to navigate some other direction. Another kind of cool challenge is to make the system run on 360 images. One could imagine using our software with footage from a 360 camera like this one, which is basically just collecting color images, but all the way around. And that way you'd have a 360 degree depth camera, which would help you to navigate through streets and pavements. Every color image could be a depth image. If you think about all the captured footage you have with your mobile phone or historical footage or home videos, we think that the software could be used to convert that footage you already have into depth images and maybe even stereo footage so you can play it back and see it in 3D.